All right, guys, so for this video, we're going to convert a PSP UMD game into an ISO file so you can play it straight off your memory stick. In other words, we're taking this and we're putting it on this. <laughs> All right, and it's really easy. Uh, it requires no kind of special software or anything. So uh, get your PSPs ready and let's do this. All right guys, before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. Now, as I just mentioned, we're gonna convert a UND game into an ISO so you can play it from the memory stick instead of having to put the physical game into your PSP. But in order to do that, your PSP must be hacked and running custom firmware. If it's not, stop this video right now and follow the link in the description to my tutorial on how to hack your PSP. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a fresh memory stick. Since I'm using it for the first time, I'm going to format it by going to System Settings and Format Memory Stick. I'm going to use the game Wipeout Pure since I'm using a 1 gigabyte memory stick and this game doesn't require a lot of space. Now that the game is in, press the select button to pull up the VSH menu. Go to USB device and switch it to UMD disk. Then exit out. Alright, let's connect it to the PC. Normally where the memory stick would show up, the actual game ID will show instead. So let's click on that. And as you can see, it's reading the image straight from the disk. So now I'm just going to drag it to the desktop where it will be easy to find later. And now we wait. This could take several minutes. All done, back to the PSP. Let's go back into the VSH menu by pressing select and switch the USB device from UMD disk back to memory stick. Exit out and reconnect the PSP to the PC. Now we're ready to drag the ISO into the memory stick, but before I do that I'm going to rename the ISO to the game's title. You don't have to rename it, that's completely optional. Open up the memory stick and drag the ISO into the ISO folder. Again, it could take several minutes to copy over. Once that's done, the only thing left to do is test it out. So for authenticity, I'm going to remove the disk. Head over to the memory stick under game and wipe out pure is good to go. Alright, so let's boot it up. See? No disk. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. For more PSP and gaming related videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.